second last vlog. Oh, it feels so weird to be doing like a travel vlog again. Um, I was too embarrassed to um, film in the like reception area when we checked in because it was so peaceful and quiet. Like I'm not used to no sound because of being in London for the last like, seven months. Like it's literally so loud. Like I went home to get all of my stuff before we came here. And I was saying like even just at home, like it was so quiet in my hometown where my family Whoa. are. But yeah, we have arrived in Mykonos. It was really last minute, spur, spur, of, the moment. spur of the moment just decision to come to Mykonos. So Aidan finished his internship and he's got his full-time job in November. So we thought, let's just run away to a random Greek island. No, with with an okay view. Views oh my share. god, it's honestly so stunning. So I'll we'll ask for a room without a CV. Should we go through the boring stuff first? Can you come with me? Aidan's sitting over there and I'm gonna sit on the floor here to talk to you. Thought I'd do some boring stuff so if you aren't interested in the boring stuff then you can skip ahead but I just wanted to sort of talk about our journey and getting here. So because of COVID, obviously things are a little bit different. We haven't traveled since before COVID, right? Like neither of us have been anywhere outside of the UK in the last year and a half. So we, I, to be fair, I was a little bit anxious. Were you sort of about traveling? Not really. No? Oh, well, just me then. I think most of you will probably agree that you, it's a bit more anxiety inducing, like going away and- What's anxiety inducing? Having like, testing and doing all this other weird stuff. But you didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I did have to worry about it now because I'm fully vaccinated, but before there was like a lot of pressure and like, because me and Aiden are both fully vaccinated, we didn't have to worry on the way here anyway. Whereas if you aren't double vaxxed, you need to prove that you've had like a PCR test, like a negative PCR 72 hours before you fly. Or that's, that's for, this is for Greece only. Yeah, this is for Greece, by the way. And we had to fill out a passenger locator form, which is obviously different to usual when we usually fly pre-COVID. So that took you how long to sort out the passenger locators? Like with the website, it takes like five minutes. Yeah, literally took me like a couple of minutes to fill out. Aiden said he spent about 30 minutes researching it and then two seconds filling out the actual form. So it's actually no stress at all. And then when we actually got to the airport, we checked in our luggage. It was absolutely fine. We did like self check in with our like big suitcases. They went through okay. And he like just briefly looked at our passenger locator form, like not really. I think if we didn't check in a bag, you wouldn't even have to do it. Yeah, because no, nowhere else is. Oh no, we did at the Greece part, at the Greece as we got come into Greece. As you come into Greece. Yes, and then everything else was fine. Like security was fine. Probably the smooth, weirdly the smoothest airport experience I've ever had because neither of us got like randomly searched or like something weird happened or my bag didn't get taken to the side or anything. Like usually something weird happens. Like when I went to Guatemala. Um, with uni I literally got taken to like a separate room and like my hands got swabbed and shit like, weird occurrences whenever I've been to the airport before but it was super smooth which is so nice because I was quite worried that it was going to be a, a lot different to usual and then when we got to this side we it was a three hour 50 minute journey um, and it went so quickly because I was asleep for most of it you were watching some stuff that you downloaded from Netflix and then when we got to this side it was just a little bit of a cue right because I think there was another plane that landed before us as well. I think that was two two flights and we were all queuing up through to go through, is it passport control? Yeah, and there was only two little desks. So yeah, there was only two people doing them. So it was taking a while to get through two flights. And then, yeah, they just checked our passenger locator forms and our passports and we were straight through. Our luggage was perfect. Like both came out at the same time, like next to each other, which never happens. Free shuttle to our hotel, which we're at now. And I didn't even realize until we got to the front desk that we've, we've got a five star hotel. But we got it for a really good price. We're here for 10 days, aren't we, my love? I'm actually buzzing about it. So we're here from the 21st to the 1st of October. We're in the St. John Hotel. It's on the south side of Mykonos. Southwest. Southwest side of Mykonos. It looks like such a beautiful complex. Obviously we haven't gone around and walked through yet, but we just got a lift from the reception to our room and it's like a see-through lift. So you can like see the view of the sea and the complex like, as you go down. It's literally just, I'm so confused. I think because everything's happened so quick, like I haven't even had, even had like a week to prepare, like come in here. I'm just like, what the hell? Like suddenly we're sat in Mykonos. But Anyway, enough of me rambling. Should we do a room tour? Yeah, I'm doing it for me. Room 5133. And we, it was the only room that was left on. It was Expedia we went through. 
There's the only room left basically and it was the Mediterranean executive C V room. So this is what we've got. And we come straight in and through to the left we've got our gorgeous bathroom. We've got our towels. Oh got our brand new towels. And we've got the toilet, we've got a sink, a huge mirror on the other side of the door. And then we've got our little bathroom. I think it's got little like jets as well, so it's like a a jacuzzi bathtub. When you come out of the toilet, we've got our wardrobe space. Shit, we've got loads of wardrobe space. I don't know what's going on here. And then we've got an iron and an iron board. I actually need the iron for some of my shirts. I'm not gonna lie. Coat hangers, fab, some extra pillows up there. We've got some drawers. We've got a safe, which is handy because I've brought my laptop and stuff in case I get any work in. What are the condoms in? They're not coming from. No way. Some Johnnies. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, and then we've got two gorgeous robes each and some flip flops. Oh, they look quite nice. Oh, they look sick. That's quite a high cupboard, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that? Oh, these two little girls. But I'm actually above average height. And then we come through to the main section, which is the bed. I This headboard, I will mind my future home. I love it. Can we it. get a bed rating out of 10? I haven't sounded it yet. Bed feels absolutely incredible, super spacious. I can starfish on it, and Aiden's going to sleep on the sofa. The bedside tables <laughs> with these. Wow, I like them. They're very cool. Very boho. Push, push in, oh, push in. Oh, oh, okay. A little push in. So we've got a big mirror here. I'm enjoying these lights quite a lot on the wall. Neat little stool. Because we're getting two scarlet slippers for the price of one. Yeah? Um, and then we've got some more of these little. Oh, they're not. Pull those. Embarrassing. Our coffee making facilities, which are on our. I mean, it is thing on the website, which I did see. However, buzzing about this, and they get refilled every day. Um, we've got a bottle opener, glasses here. We've got a bar. Um, we've got all of the prices of the mini bar here in case anyone wants a little insight into how much they are. I don't know if we're going to have any. Oh, I'm okay. It's there's basically, no basically water to us, isn't it? Yeah, true. Um, so, yeah, there's like stuff in the mini bar there if you want to eat. Eat up. This is a hotel and spa, so there's like a spa downstairs with like a gym, the gym's free, and then you obviously pay for whatever, like for any treatments that you want. And then flip around this way, so gorgeous. Sofa, seating area. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. It's very, very cozy. Oh yeah, I've got a little pee pee hole in case I was over here, I'll save it on the bed. Hi. TV and the piece de resistance. Wowie. Look at that view. Oh gorgeous, and we've got a little like bistro we set outside here with an ashtray because we spent loads of eggs together. Oh, look, even just like out here, like all the trees and like the cobbles. How cute. And these are all of the other rooms. There's, I think you can get like villas in here as well. And then obviously there's like different room styles. Like this one has a jacuzzi outside. So gorgeous. Right, I think we're gonna have some showers to refresh ourselves after the journey and potentially unpack our stuff and then head out because it's currently 30 degrees here in Mykonos. Oh, I'm sweating, me tits off. We are freshened up with a nice shower and it is starting to become like golden hour sunset. And we figured that the sun is gonna be setting. The sun is literally just setting outside our window there. So we're gonna be able to see that every evening, which is so stunning. I can't remember if I said earlier, but this down here is the spa facilities. And then there's the pool down another level. So it's on like a hill. It goes down to the pool and then there's like a private beach that the hotel own. So we're gonna go check all of that stuff out tomorrow, I believe. But for now, we're gonna go to reception, see if we can book a taxi or whether it's safe for us to walk to like one of the local sort of like areas. It's called, or is it Ornos? Yeah, when you say safe, it's not like we're pussy, it's like- Oh no, as in like safe to, <laughs> as in safe to walk because the roads are so narrow that barely two cars can get past. So we didn't want to like obviously risk um, getting hit by cars. I was up for walking, but I think not be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Look at how gorgeous this light is like shining through the room. It's so lush. We're all ready to go. This is my outfit of the evening. It's sort of like rushed and thrown on. I've just put on a bit of gloss and some like eyebrow product. 
cute pearl necklace and pearl bracelet on from Daisy Lily. It's like an independent business on Instagram. Their earrings are Millie Grace and so are my rings. Yeah, top is Nasty Out. It's like a little ribbed halter neck. Shirt, oversized shirt is H&M. These shorts are also H&M. They're just like little like nudie coloured shorts. And then I've got these sliders on from Collusion on ASOS. Lovely stuff and my anklet's also Daisy Lily. My little basket bag from Primark that I'm taking out as my bag. I bought it last summer. Ready to go? Aiden's sporting this gorgeous white grey casual look. For every overdressed girlfriend, there is an underdressed boyfriend. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say this is overdressed. We're gonna go have a little look and hopefully I'll show you some clips of the hotel as we go to go grab a taxi. Wait, I got my nails done like hot pink yesterday before like last minute and then Sean is a babe and did my lashes. Got like hybrids in. The sun is just about to set and we've just come down to have a little look at the rest of the hotel and there's like an infinity pool and um, the other pool down there there's like a little bridge that goes across. The sky is looking stunning and up here we've got the hotel restaurant right? One of the four. Sipnosium. There's like four rest four restaurants I think in the hotel complex. Breakfast is downstairs which I'll show you tomorrow morning. Then there's like a tennis court all the way over there. Oh mini market. Um, me and Aidan were saying we really want to go get some like snacks and some water because the guy who was doing our shuttle has said that um, the water obviously is not drinkable so we need to make sure we've got bottled water at all times to stay hydrated and stuff like around the beach otherwise we're gonna have to be paying quite a bit for water because it's not like the cheapest oh, look at this lift Wait, please focus how crazy is that and we're on a mission to find food because we haven't eaten all day I don't know how we've done it I literally haven't had breakfast all night are you breezy So we had a walk and made our way to Ornos. So this is the view. Water. Whereabouts are we on the island currently? I really am disorientated. Still southwest area. But yeah, there's all of the like boats like pulled up out there. Like honestly, the walk was so stunning because it had just gone sunset. There's some little stray kiddies down there. The, it was just such a lovely walk and all of the like lights have come out. It's absolutely beautiful. You look glowing in the light. But we've got some water, coke and a Sprite because we didn't fancy alcohol tonight. And we've come to this place called Constantis. It's very sweet. And we decided to get a little spot on the sand so I got my toes out. Ooh. And we've both gone for chicken souvlaki and we've got hummus to share between us as well. So we'll let you know what we think and whether we rate it. The prices are sort of like probably slightly above average I'd say for like what we're getting um, but I think Mykonos in general is like quite a spinnier island spinnier island yep I did just say that out loud good morning so me and Aiden have just been for breakfast I'm gonna properly show you breakfast either tomorrow or another day at some point. So I just bumped into someone from the hotel, so I got a little bit embarrassed vlogging out. <laughs> and like I said, it is so quiet out there. So when I'm vlogging, I feel like I'm ruining everyone's peace who's like chilling on their balconies. Just had breakfast, it was absolutely lovely. There was so much to choose from, some really random things. There's all of like the traditional like British breakfast food. And then there was like so many different like options. So I tried a few, a few things. I'm not even sure what was in some of them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sorry that this vlog has been so hotel focused at the moment, but we've obviously just got here and we're just like getting to grips with things. We went to the supermarket last night after our food at Constantis. Highly recommend that place. That food was insane. Like it didn't look like much on the plate, like the portion sizes for how much we were paying. But when we finished, me and Aiden were absolutely stuffed. Went to the supermarket to get some bottled water to put in our fridge and I forgot my mask so I couldn't go in the market because I'm an idiot. So Aiden went in and got some like snacks and some bits and pieces from there as well and then we walked back in the dark. It was quite precarious, I'm not going to lie, but I've come back quickly because I'm going to be doing an online workout with One Rebel and Just Strong. I think this is the code for the safe lovely i'm gonna get zoom up and i'm gonna do the class in the room i think I, if i was more brave i'd go down to the gym and do it and like pop it on my headphones but i'm just too much of a pussy maybe one day maybe one day so i did say that i really want to start being a little bit more active on holidays and i didn't even realize that the gym here is free so i might go down there some mornings like before breakfast or something to do some workouts 
I think that might be quite nice. But yeah, I think this vlog is going to be more hotel orientated whilst we're settling in. And then the next vlog we'll be doing like excursions, going and exploring the rest of Mykonos, getting quad bikes, doing all that amazing stuff. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. So we have been by the pool for the past couple of hours, just chilling and like dipping in the pool and stuff. I come down to like the little beach that's part of the hotel. There's like a gorgeous bar behind Aiden there. Right, so we are now relaxing on the hotel beach. This is our current current view in like a little cabana. Oh, it's really cute. That's what they called on, I'm pretty sure. It's like a few of these and then a few of the usual like umbrellas. And you can like order food and drinks here. We don't, we don't think we're bougie enough to do that. We're gonna go grab some food. I think we're gonna try out one of the hotel restaurants or something, or whatever they're called, like a little like bar. Me and Aiden just were in the sea for a little bit. It was so clear, but we used we brought my goggles in, and there was like fish, like quite big fish, like around my feet, and it was kind of like doing like that. I don't know. It like puts me on edge a little bit. Where are they supposed to be? I know they're supposed to be there, but I don't know. It just no, I me don't a bit. like. Just see it. Just if I see sea urchins, that bugs me off. Yeah, and like some of the like rocks, like really furry, like it sort of put me on edge a little bit. And I do love being That's in the problem. sea, and it makes me. Yeah, exactly. First one problems. I hate when there are furry rocks. Oh, uh, we don't know what the word is for this is it walkway thing. Steps there because we went and tried to get in that way, and Aiden always slipped over. So we're gonna stick to stick to this way. And it's so gorgeous. Maybe one time we'll go and sit over there. And then this island over here is called Delos. And we're going to go there, I think, for a trip. It's 20 euros each, which I don't think is too bad for a return, by the way. So we're going to do that because there's some, like, cool, like, museums and stuff, right? It's like where Apollo sits. Or something weird, yeah, we were, like, looking at the mythology behind it all. Stuff so very interesting. And then we've booked um, this morning after breakfast when I went to do the workout. Aidan went to book our shuttle because the hotel does free sh shuttle buses in the evening to Mykonos town so we're gonna go there tonight have a little explore there yeah we're gonna just relax here a bit and then go try out some of the food because we're starting to get hungry lunch with a view we both went for Fanta lemon waiting for our food to come I've gone for a chicken wrap Aiden has gone for a pizza with pepperoni and stuff on we're both feeling very relaxed and happy right now my wet hair drying with all the salt in it yeah, Aiden had all like salt in his eyelashes and stuff because the actual pool at the hotel is also salt water. We should probably wash our sunglasses as well because you can see you've got like salt stains, like crystals and things, like smudges. This is what it's looked like inside. This is what it looks like outside. Beautiful. Look at the way that sun hits the water. She said we keep catching ourselves because we'll be like talking or doing something and then I'll look out and be like, wow, where the fuck are we? So mad. So it's actually quite windy in Mykonos. When we were coming from the airport, the guy who drove us, he was like telling us, weren't he, that it's usually very windy it's throughout windy. summer. And he said that it's less windy now, but apparently in the next few days on Google saying that it's gonna be quite windy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but we've just been dropped off by the shuttle. And here we are, we're in Mykonos town. There's a nice little cruise ship. Cars are parked in, so you can't go into the town. With the oh, car. cool! It's, so, like, to stop invaders coming in. Yeah. They built it like a labyrinth, so that they couldn't find their way around. So all the locals could go and hide. Which is pretty cool, and that's why obviously now you can't get any cars around about because all of the like lanes and everything that you probably see on like social media and stuff. Like, this is the main part of Mykonos where it's all the little cobbled streets and stuff. So. We're sat at a 
place called Jackio's, which we've both heard recommendations from. Well, the guy at the hotel, and then your uncle. Amy's uncle um, is currently in the like one of the islands close by. It's one of the cheapest places we've found to have been here, like when we've been wandering around looking at menus. I've got my glass of red wine. Aiden's got his white, and then we've got this gorgeous view of Mykonos town. How well, stunning is that? The moon, well. moon is just here. Look at the moon there. It's so good tonight. Everybody dance. Aiden's trying out a veggie egg eggplant, Sivlaki. We both had a Sivlaki, I had that yesterday, but don't look at me. I really enjoyed it. So you know, um, you know if you've been watching my vlog for ages, I'm a creature of habit. If I like something, I'm not going to change it, because why would I change something that's good? Sorry about it. was had this morning and I tried to show a few clips of the breakfast display. We've decided to come to the beach though because it's still a little bit warm. 